Okay guys, today we are going to be doing um, something different from what we have been doing on our, this channel. Today I am going to explain to you how you can build an inverter with this IC. This is HSG3525 integrated circuit. This IC is uh, really popular in inverter and done nowadays. It is really used to make because it is very easy to use to make a proper uh, inverter circuit. In my previous video, I used this IC to build an inverter which has a stable output. Uh, you can check in the description to see the inverter that I built with this IC. Um, it maintains its output voltage even when it's been loaded with an heavy load. So today, I'm going to explain to you how I use this IC to build the inverter and also I'm going to draw the schematic diagram and explain everything to you in details. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So first of all, I'm going to draw the circuit diagram and explain to you step by step on how I how everything works. So let's do that right so guys, this is the schematic diagram of the HG3525 inverter. So now guys, let me explain to you how everything here works. This is the inverting input and the second thing is the non-inverting input. Guys, I'm going to explain this in the layman terms which you are going to understand. I won't go more deep into this um, IC. Now, when creating an inverter, note that the oscillator is the first thing that you have to be very assured that it's working here. So guys, this is the part that set up the oscillators. So the pin 5 is the um, CT, pin 6 is the LT, that is resistor time um, the capacitor time and um, the pin 7 is the discharge now in this case um, I use 100 ohms 100 ohms between the pin 5 and the pin 7 um, in this IC data sheet it is um, recommended to use a resistor about 100 ohms to 500 ohms to set up this and um, in this case I also use one UF capacitor at 50 volts for the CT and um, I used um, 10k res fixed resistor and 10k variable resistor to uh, get the 50 hz frequency that I need for this uh, inverter so the 10 kvr is used to uh, reset because uh, at uh, using using this 10 k resistor and 10 kvr I can get a an oscillator up to the oscillator is between the oscillator is between 35 hertz to 80 at so to, to, to tune um, this to tune to get this uh, 50 as that we need I I think the resistance that needs to be here using this one UF will be 14 14 to 15 key I think for 14 to 15 key resistor so in case you want to use a fixed resistor, so you can use 15k resistor to get 50 as when you use one UF at the um, at this um, uh, acidity, the capacitor time. So this is the aspect that set up the oscillator. Now um, we don't need to touch the pin 3 and pin 4. So uh, let me continue by explain the pin 8 the pin 8 is used for just a soft start 
the substance uh, that is it uh, delay the time that the digital cycle it de delay the time that the digital cycle of it delay the time of, that, that is delay the time the, uh, the digital cycle takes to on to on for instance now if we as we use um, this as we use this 50 volts that do you uh, it will take it will take um at least five seconds before the uh, before before the due cycle before the duty cycle we reach its um um we reach each set points for instance if the uh, the cycle might be fifty percent fifty percent if the cycle is fifty percent so it will take the this cycle about five seconds to reach from zero percent to fifty percent so that is why we use this just for soft starts to so just slow down and the on stage of the data cycle for the for the IC so the pin 9 is a compensation pin this pin is usually used in combination with the pin 1 to what to just uh, compensate the uh, feedback voltage to make a proper um, good voltage so you don't need to use that um, pin 10 pin 10 is the shop down pin this pin since my inverter that I built in my previous video has an external auto shutdown or circles, I don't need to use it. So in that case, you have to connect it to the ground. So that's because if you leave it floating, it can pick a signal and affect and affect or interrupt the IC from performing its proper work. Because this IC, when you um, input if uh, input a, a signal of output. We input a signal of like five volts, five input a five volt signal to this pin. Five volt signal to this pin. So this pin, it will shut down above. So it, uh, if you input a five volt above five volts, greater than five volts. If you input a voltage greater than 5 volts to this um, shutdown pin, the IC will completely shut down. So that's why, um, since my inverter is not that's an external um, auto shutdown, so I don't know that's why I connect it to the ground. So pin 11 is the output of the IC, the first output of the IC, and the pin 12 is the ground. The P13, the P13, this pin 13 is um the it is the input the VC input of, uh, the input of the transistor yeah, the, turn, the amplifier transistor because this IC has its own internal transistor that was amplified the uh, signal the output signal but it can only able to undo a load of two I think it's really small 150 milliamps to 500 milliamps. So that is what this transistor, transistor, internal transistor of this IC can answer. But so this is the leg, the pin tapping is the imp leg that connects to that transistor to turn on the transistor. transistor. So it needs an input voltage of up to 4.5 volts to 35 volts maximum. So since the input of our the input of our uh, inverter is 12 volt, it is in the range of these 12 volt input range. So it is okay to connect it to what the P15, which is the input pin, and the P14 is the what is the output A and pin 11 output B. So what the pin 16? I'm going to explain this, but before I explain this, I need to just 
explain this together because this is what set up the uh, what we have been uh, waiting for which is the feedback connection most of people as view this inverter circuit I try it a lot and at the end of the day they were unable to what build a stable output uh output stable output voltage inverter with this uh